Hey everybody, welcome to Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski. Hey, this is the weekly check-in. My 50 by 50, 50 pounds by 50 years old. So here's the weekly check-in. Really excited about this one. Lost three pounds this past week. I can't believe it, three pounds. Hey, look, I'm still eating good. I'm, I'm, whatever we're cooking, we're, 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 we're cooking good meals. I'm trying to keep all those types of meals going throughout my day. But I'm also throwing in some more exercise. So I'm picking up my exercise a little bit at a time, but three pounds this week. So that means I am down 18 pounds and I have what, 32 more to go to meet my goal. So that's exciting. So 18 lost, 32 to go, still a pretty big hill to climb. We're gonna keep this train going. And today you're gonna love this treat we're gonna make. Healthy, low carb, uh, uh, tasty. Remember, we're not giving up taste or flavor for healthy food. So anyway, let's keep it going. I'm going to check back in next week with you, tell you what I did then. Hopefully we lost some more, but hey, it's week by week, day by day, meal by meal. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the 50 by 50. I hope you're doing it too. Let's get over here and start making some more healthy, tasty, wonderful, flavorful food. Thanks for checking. I'll see you over at the workstation. Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Shevsky. I'm the chef of this kitchen. And yep, I still have my half beer. Still going at it. I'll probably just finish this half beer during this. Look, hey, we are still going on in the 50 by 50, making healthy food, but not sacrificing taste or flavor. Today, one, one of my favorite, favorite appetizers to get into a restaurant. You bet. It is cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower. Love it, love it, love it. I started eating it a couple years ago when I started putting restaurants. Oh my goodness, in fact, my mouth is starting to water right now. But we're gonna make it here in our kitchen and you should make it in your kitchen and serve a healthy, healthy, healthy appetizer for any dish that you wanna put next to it. This is cauliflower, buffalo style. Let me tell you this, it's keto and low carb too. That's where we're at, okay? Keep losing this weight, keep on moving forward, not sacrificing any flavor, not sacrificing any, any, any uh, taste for a healthy something is, okay? So i am become a believer that you can really eat good and have food taste really good, even though it's super healthy for you. So let me just jump right into this. This is a simple recipe, takes a little time in the oven, but as far as the hard work that we have to do, and nothing. Look, this is the sauce, very simple. Frank's Red, I love Frank's Red. Uh, some Worcestershire and some butter. That's it, I'll show you what to do over at the hot spot here in a minute. Now, what we wanna do, since cauliflower, is gonna be the main actor in our super production. We wanna make sure we take care of the cauliflower. So we're gonna take these ingredients, the onion powder, the garlic, the salt, the paprika, and the pepper, we're gonna put it all together, and then we're gonna coat this um, uh, uh, cauliflower with it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And of course, we're gonna have some Parmesan cheese, and I'll show you how to apply that later. It's just more for sprinkling than it is anything. But this isn't deep fried. This isn't gonna be breaded. This is gonna be baked to perfection. You're gonna love it. Let's get to work. Let me show you right now what I'm gonna do with this cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking it out into small little bite-sized florets, okay? That's all we're gonna do. When I come back, I'll have it already done, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this cauliflower ready to go. Guys, you're gonna love this. It's super simple. You're gonna to wanna to pay attention and make this one. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Guess what? All the hard, hard work is done. Breaking up this uh, cauliflower into small little florets. See how small they are, little bite-sized pieces. You can go smaller, you can go bigger. I don't care, it's your kitchen. I like to have a little bite to them, um, a, a little bit of thickness, so totally up to you. Here's how we're gonna take care of this. Get yourself a gallon bag, okay? This is a no mess approach. So take all these um, cauliflower and put it in this bag. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. While you're thinking of it, cauliflower is so, so, so good for you. It's a great replacement. It's a great replacement for um, appetizers and you can use it. Oh, we got some good recipes coming up with cauliflower kind of taking the place of the potato, which I like to call that series of recipes. Say hell no to the potato. Anyway, there you go. Cauliflower is in here. Just add a little bit of olive oil, okay? Probably about a tablespoon. And then remember your garlic? I'm gonna get your garlic in there. 
At this point, go ahead and conceal the bag a little bit, take some of the air out. And let's get a good coat on this cauliflower with your oil uh, and your garlic. Now, you can use olive oil, you can use, um, uh, if you wanna melt down some or, um, uh, coconut oil, that's totally up to you. Just use the good oils, okay? So there, our, our uh, cauliflower is nice and coated with the oil and the um, garlic. So remember, remember the, the little, the little uh, mix we're gonna make? We got salt, we have paprika, onion powder, and some black pepper. We're gonna take it into a little bowl, mix it up really good, so it makes one nice little coating. Guess what we're gonna do with this? Yes, you're right. We're gonna put it over top of this and then coat it again. Because remember, now the oil's on the cauliflower, so this will stick better to it. It's the whole idea. So let's go ahead and just take this, and we're just gonna go ahead and shake it in here. Don't worry about getting it evenly distributed because what you're gonna do is yes, you're going to flip it again. So let's go ahead and move it around. And we get it all kind of evenly distributed. So most of the cauliflower, if not all of it, gets a little bit of touch of that special seasoning. And the olive oil's on there. Look at that. You see how that works? Perfect. Now, final step before we go into the oven. I have a baking dish with some parchment paper. You can use a baking dish with nonstick. I like parchment because you just can't get anything to stick to it, and that's what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cauliflower at this point, put a nice single layer of this cauliflower. Again, with clean, oh, look at that, look how nice that looks. With clean hands, separate it and just even it out. And that's the start of our fun now. One more final step before we get started. We are going to put in, or sprinkle just on top, a little bit of Parmesan. I like, the, I like this one in the little jar here, the dried out one, but look, here we go. Now, we're done with the cauliflower pretty much. We're gonna put it in the oven um, at 425 for 25 minutes, but at half time, half that time, in about 12 or 13 minutes, we're gonna flip these cauliflower and put it back in for the rest. So total 25, but I'll see you back here uh, in about 12 and a half. In the meantime, I'll meet you over at the workstation. I'm gonna show you how to make this buffalo dip. All right, folks, hey, we're at the hot spot here just for a short period of time. We're gonna make our buffalo sauce. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make a buffalo sauce. You can add what you want to it. I know a lot of people who uh, add paprika, add maybe a smoky taste, but we're just gonna go straight buffalo sauce. What I've done, three tablespoons of butter already melted in there, okay? I'm gonna add my Frank's hot sauce, about a third of a cup. We're gonna get a good mix on that. And I'm a... Um, Worcestershire guy, so what I like to add is Worcestershire. Like I said, you can add smoked paprika, you could add whatever you want. I mean, make it your own, but I like more of these purer tastes. So add my little Worcestershire, and what I'm gonna do is just mix everything in together, make one big happy sauce. Everybody's happy down in there. I've seen people put liquid smoke in this to, 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 um, to make it a little bit more smoky taste, but that's it. We're going to let it bubble up a little bit, maybe get to a small boil, then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for a minute or two, get all those flavors integrated, and then we're going to move it off to the side, and we'll wait for our cauliflower to come out, because this is going to play a really big part in what we're going to do. Right now, I'm going to finish this up, and I'll see you back over at the workstation. All right, guys. So it's been about 13 minutes. I'm gonna bring them out right now. I'm not gonna, oh, they're starting to brown already. What you wanna do is just take them out really quick. We're gonna flip them. And we wanna get the other side to go too. So we, again, let's keep them all in a straight, um, straight single layer. And we wanna make sure they all get flipped over. I think I did a good job on that. Go ahead, keep them in that single layer. And then we're gonna put them back in for another 12 to 13, okay? But before so, we're gonna add just a little bit more parm. And that's it. Now, when we bring them back out in the next 12 to 13, this is where we're gonna add the sauce. Hang in there for that. I'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Look, we got full 25 minutes of these guys done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in this bowl. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in a the bowl and then we're gonna put the buffalo sauce right on top of them and gently stir them. And guess what? We're not done with the uh, oven yet. So 
We're just going to go back in for a little bit more. But let me get all these off. And I'm going to put most of the sauce in. I'm going to try to save a little bit if I can because I like to drizzle some, some nice fresh sauce on um, when it comes out of the final, final, final time. So what's going to happen is we're going to put the sauce on and then we're going to put it in for another 15 minutes. But let's do that. Let's put the sauce on first. Just save a little bit, little bit, so for the, for the end. Okay, I'll wipe this off here. Now, gently mix them. We're gonna use the same pan that we've had them in. Okay. Oops, we'll drop that. We're gonna put them right back in. Get a nice coat of the buffalo sauce on our wonderful looking cauliflower. All right, here we go. Take them right back to the pan, the baking dish. Spread them out. That should be good. We have a little bit left. And what we're going to do now, we're going to throw them right back into the oven, 15 minutes, still at 425, and we're going to bring them out when we're ready to eat. I'll see you back here in 15. All right, guys, these are piping hot. I just took them right out of the oven. They're ready to go. Remember, we left a little bit of that uh, buffalo sauce left. So we're going to do, oh, they look really good. We're just going to go ahead and drizzle up and back some fresh buffalo sauce on here just to give it a little bit more, mm, you know what I mean, right? Come on. You can use the whole buffalo sauce to coat it if you want. I like to have some fresh, fresh buffalo sauce on top before I go ahead and put these on a plate. And this is it. We're going to take a spatula and then we're just going to throw them on a plate. Plate these babies, and we're going to go ahead and enjoy them. I'll see you right back here. I can't wait to try them. We made it. We're here. Buffalo. Oh, cauliflower. Buffalo. Oh, buffalo cauliflower anyway. You want to say it? It smells so good. I know it's going to taste good. Again, healthy, healthy, healthy. It's not fried. It's not breaded. It's just full with flavor and taste, and it's super, super healthy. I can't wait to get in. Now, wait, before I do that. You can sprinkle some blue cheese cr uh, crumbles on top of this if you want. If not, well, just go ahead and use a branch dip or a blue cheese dip uh, dressing or something like that just to taste it. So I am, I, I, you know what, I mumbled here because I'm so excited to try it. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of a little blue cheese dressing. Ta-da! Oh, that is really good. That is really, really good. Look, make this simple, easy. I told you, not a lot of cooking. If you got some time in your hands, you gotta bake for a while, but other than that, it's simple, simple food. Simple food. All you gotta do is break some cauliflower apart with your hands. That's all you have to do. Simple and easy to make. You'll love it. Make it for your family. Serve it for tailgates and cookouts and hors d'oeuvres, whatever you wanna do. This is a good one. This is a keeper. You gotta try it. If you haven't, hey look, if you haven't subscribed yet, get on this train. We're still doing a 50 by 50 and be a part of it, making this stuff, and having a healthy 2021. Thanks for showing up. I love you, and in my own special Polish way, like I always do say, Nostradogia.